everyone, this is Rabbius Walk, and welcome to another TV episode review series. So today's TV episode I'll be reviewing today is the three first three episodes of The Runaways. Now before I get into my thoughts about this series so far, I would like to remind everyone that new videos will be posted up every Sunday. It could be Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Sunday evening, depending on when I can get the videos posted up. And if you haven't seen any videos posted up during the week, that must mean that there was a bit of TV show or movie news released during the week that I wanted to cover. So those would be considered special videos. But new videos will be posted up every Sunday. And every Monday, I will have the TV episode roundup series where I go over all the TV episodes I review for the week. And I go from worst pick of the week to best pick of the week. And those will be posted up every Monday. So now let's get started into this TV episode review of The Runaways. So, um... The first, um, Runaways is basically a series that's being released on Hulu, and only three episodes have been released so far. So this is like a review of the first three episodes of Runaways being released on Hulu so far. And what we see in this episode is that we meet a group of kids who live with the, um, with their parents, and their parents are very rich and, um, very successful. Like, um, Alex's parents, um, run a successful, um, a construction site or something to that um detail um Gert's parents are scientists um like uh, also um Nikki Nicole's um parents are also highly um rich socialites and stuff like that um and that's what we know about the kids is that they live in a rich lifestyle um that is a very diverse cast and um their parents are very successful and very rich and later on in the episode we find out that the kids start to find out that their parents are up to something mysterious as their parents are like a part of this mysterious group called the Pride. And um, the kids end up seeing their parents sacrifice a young girl um, to some kind of um, other dimension or something like that. And when the kids saw that, they're like, oh, our parents are evil. You know, we got to um, do something about this. You know, we, um, we just can't trust our parents anymore because they just sacrificed an innocent young girl for no reason. So that's pretty much what happens in the first three episodes is that we see that the kids um, start to see that their parents um, have sacrificed somebody and um, they're starting to doubt their parents. And that's all we see so far. We also see a bit of some of the characters' powers. Like we see Molly's super strength. We see um, Gert's um, ability to talk to dinosaurs. We see um, Carolina briefly turning into like a um, multicolor bean. Um, and we see Chase trying to work on gadgets like he does in the comics. And we see um, a bit of that in um, the first three episodes. So what are my thoughts about the first three episodes of Runaways? Um, I really enjoy them. Um, I will admit, like, uh, I was watching all three episodes in one night, so it was a little, um, long-winded to, like, try to watch all the episodes at once, but I really enjoy each and every one of those episodes, because I think the series so far is remaining very faithful to the comics it was based on. Um, I read the comics years ago, and I remember really enjoying the series. Um, it makes me think that I gotta go back and read the comics again, just to see, um, what they changed from the comics and stuff like that, but so far the series remains very faithful to the comics. Um, I like how they betray all the characters so far. Like, I really love the way they betray Molly as being this girl who's, um, looks like she's pretty perky for the most part, but, um, she has super strength and I like how the, the scenes where she uses her super strength to get out of, um, tough situations. And then we see Nicole, um, like, or Nico trying to, um, explore the mad, the dark magic side of her family. And, um, I also like the scene where we see Carolina's arm starting to glow like multicolor like it does in the comics. So we start to see a bit of the character's powers in this um in this um first three episodes and I like how they're able to display it on the um small screen. And I like the fact that these episodes actually really expanded more on the the kids' parents. Like I felt like one of the biggest issues I had with the original comics was that we didn't know that much about the um parents and I I think the um TV series is doing a really good job in expanding more on the parents and um, showing how they feel about their kids, possibly finding out what they're really doing. Um, of course, they haven't found out yet, but they're getting suspicious about what their kids are doing. And um, I really enjoy seeing um, more the the um the series being told from the point of view of the parents and also being told from the point of view of the kids. So I definitely can't wait to see um where they're gonna take the series at. I can't wait to see how the kids are gonna use their powers and um I can't wait to see what kind of adventures the kids will get into um after this episode. Um I will admit that the mood for this um episode is a l these th first three episodes are a bit darker than what I've read in the comics. Like the um comics are a little lighter in tone, but um this TV series looks like it's much 
much darker in tone, and that's fine with me because the story is very well told and it still remains faithful to the comic, even if the tone is a little different. So I definitely can't wait to see um, what they're going to do with the kids um, later on and how much they're going to remain faithful to the comic in the long run. So overall, I gave the first three episodes of Runaways 4.75 stars. I thought... There were times when the pacing was a bit slow, like especially when they're explaining about the parents' backstories or explaining about how the parents are um, dealing with being suspicious about their kids, possibly finding out what they're really doing. And um, some of the dialogues can get a little long at times, a little tedious at times. But overall, I found these episodes to be really enjoyable, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen with these characters um, in the next few episodes and see how well all these characters like Carolina, Alex, Molly, and those... Um, display their powers in the long run. Well, that's my review on the first three episodes of Marvel's Runaways. Have you seen these episodes yet? And if you have, did you enjoy these episodes? Did you hate the episodes? Please feel free to comment below and don't forget to follow me on Twitter so I can keep you updated on any new videos I post up. And also, like my Facebook page, Ravius Blog's Best Comments. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ravius Blog and I'll see you later.